All right, welcome back. Even though you didn't go anywhere through Paula's magical editing and Joe, uh, <laughs> we just managed to compress <laughs> a 10 minute press conference into no, into a millisecond. Oh, what a disgraceful press conference. Do you understand what Man. just happened, what Bob Mueller just did? Now, this is what I'm here for. We're going to need a Mueller translator soon. This is what there, there are. I, I, I take four takeaways from this. Takeaway number one, Bob Mueller said during his presser, the report speaks for itself, basically insinuating he will not be testifying further. And if he's called to, he will not say anything outside of the report. Why? Why? What is he doing? Learn to translate Mueller's speak. Mueller hates the president. He conducted this investigation to damage his presidency, despite knowing collusion was a hoax when it started. We know this. Mueller does not want to be questioned, Joe, on Capitol Hill by any ally of the president about when he knew collusion was a hoax. Therefore, translate Mueller's speak, his my report speaks for itself line in the presser means don't even bother subpoenaing me because I'm not going to answer any questions. I'm going to say, refer to my report because Mm -hmm. Bob Mueller is afraid of being asked precisely the date he knew collusion was a hoax because the answer is going to be, well, immediately. Well, why did you investigate for 600 days? Well, we wanted to damage the president. What a disgraceful thing he just did. That's one. Takeaway number two. Why does he reiterate the charges against the Russians, the social media company, and the efforts to influence our election? Why is he doing that now? Because there's a dispute out there with declassification coming and emails that are going to be coming out amongst higher-ups in the FBI about the ICA. Follow me. The intelligence community assessment, remember the 17 agencies believe Russia interfered with the election to help Trump? Remember that? It was released in December. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Jim, uh, Jim Clapper on CNN saying, hey, none of this stuff mm-hmm. would have even happened with the Trump team un- unless, Obama you know, uh, uh, unless Obama wouldn't have told us to do that ICA. In other words, throwing mm-hmm. Obama under the bus. Follow me here. The intelligence mm-hmm. community assessment that the Russians interfered with the election to help Trump is garbage. Not that the Russians interfered, but to help Trump is garbage. It's hot garbage. It was released by the Obama administration prior to Trump taking office to set up the narrative that Trump was helped by the Russians, to set up the narrative that they needed a special counsel investigation. Mueller knows the declassified emails between Comey and Brennan are going to show that the ICA was based on what? The dossier. Yeah. Which is fake. So Mueller now learned to translate Mueller. He's not being honest. Thank him for his service. Great. And the Marines, I appreciate it. That does not absolve you of the disgusting investigation and that atrocious press conference you just did to further malign the president. He is doing this now, talking again and relitigating the Russian efforts that their social media companies to put meat on the broken bones of the intelligence community assessment, which is about to be discredited by declassification. Yep. Yep. Bank on it. Take it to the bank, kids. Number three. This is where the most shameful, disturbing part of this press conference happened. In order to, again, give liberals talking points about obstruction into a crime that didn't happen, He talks about obstruction again, and he said something key you may have missed in there. He said, listen, we couldn't charge the president with a crime because the Office of Legal Counsel under the Department of Justice, where I work, Mueller, he does, he worked in the Department of Justice, has said you can't charge a president with a crime. Why is he saying that? He's saying that because he wants the liberals and the talking heads, which you'll see tonight, I guarantee it, you'll see tonight on TV. He wants the liberals to go out and say, look, the president clearly committed a crime. Mueller laid it out. Mm -hmm. And the only reason he didn't charge him is because he was the president. You may say, well, Dan, that is what Mueller said. What's the comeback to that? The comeback is very easy. That is not what Bob Mueller told Bill Barr. Bill Barr, the attorney general, 
asked Bob Mueller if the uh, failure to charge the president with obstruction was based on the OLC guidelines, the Office of Legal Counsel, and Mueller said no. Ladies and gentlemen, both of these stories can't be true. Either Mueller's lying or Barr's lying. And I will bet you my right arm, and I'll throw in the left as a bonus, that Bob Mueller just lied to the American people about a conversation he had with Bill Barr because he was losing the narrative. Barr specifically asked him, did you not charge the president in your report because you believe you can't because of OLC guidelines? And Mueller said no. He just said the exact opposite in the presser. He is lying. 100%. Yeah, caught that dog whistle. Yeah. Shameful. Mm -hmm. Finally, the fourth takeaway. And I say three, I have four. He says at the end, you may have missed it. He leaves it in there in another dog whistle, Joe. He says, mm -hmm. basically, listen, there's a constitutional remedy for all this. If you guys don't think we handled this right. <laughs> suggesting again that Bob Mueller wants the president impeached. That's the, uh, what other constitutional yep. remedy could he be talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, that was one of the most shameful things I have ever witnessed. Bill Barr has to be absolutely livid right now. This, this, this broken shell of a guy. And I'm, I'm tired of all the nonsense accolades for this guy. Thank you for your service to the country. And I will condemn you for the awful, disgusting witch hunt you waged against the President of the United States. You investigated a crime that didn't happen. You knew didn't happen. You were given unprecedented access. The FBI director was asked to investigate it by the President. There have been no allegations of obstruction. You then lob a false, nonsense set of charges left out of context against the President of the United States. You lie to the attorney general about why you didn't charge the president, and then you hint for impeachment in a press conference and disappear in a cowardly fashion because you don't want to go up to Congress and answer questions. Disgusting. Should be embarrassed.